free carnage. some Canadian problems here. <laughs> My uh, ratchet straps froze up a little bit. So we'll have to thaw them out the Canadian way. Just melt that ice a little bit there. You guys that don't ride in the snow or don't have winter don't know what it's like sometimes to deal with this crap. These guys are thawed up now. I'm gonna bring the propane with me just in case I have these issues down the line. It should be trying to pick away at the, um, the ice because then you risk damaging your straps and stuff. Super stoked to try these studs out. I can't wait. Look at these, these carvides. Man, they are decimating, they're, they're like decimating my driveway and my epoxy floor in the garage already. Like these things are gonna chew. Where is it? You can see they're like ripping into the con into the asphalt here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but uh, you can see they're scratching up the asphalt. They're gonna grip real well. Today uh, I got five and a half pounds in the front tire, seven and a half pounds in the rears. Look at these studs. You can check out my video on how I installed these and a little bit of a kind of a review and overview of the product. And we're gonna test them out and see how they do. I've heard good things about these iGrip studs. You can check them out at iGripStud.com. And if you wanna get some for your machine, they come in various lengths, sizes, styles, uh, depending on what you wanna run them on. You can get them at RoyalDistributing.com. They are a reseller for iGrip studs. And uh, the quality is really good. They're made in Canada product. They're not made overseas or anything like that. They've got carbide inserts. Uh, you can see I file test them in the install video and they just, they wreck the file. <laughs> so uh, these should do good. I don't think they're gonna pull out. They're gonna bite really well. They have flat surface ones and spiked ones like this. They've got different sizes. You can even run them in a bobcat, a skid steer, a tractor, a snowblower, whatever you want to add extra grip where you didn't think you could have any. 
So I'm um, really stoked to try those out. As I mentioned earlier, there's probably about 10 to 12 inches of snow where we're going. So I'm just gonna load up the Ford and uh, we'll get, get heading out there. Um, we're gonna go meet up at Collins with a bunch of the boys. So it should be a good time. KRX will be there, a bunch of the other guys. Got some new gloves from uh, Royal Distributing for today's ride. We got the Promax Alderstones. These are, um, Promax is the Royal Distributing in-house brand. These are um, their top end like snowmobile cold weather riding glove, nice leather bottom, fully waterproof. It's a dual liner. There's a, a thin glove inside when it's warmer and a big thick 200 gram Finsulate glove on the outside. And then we got a pair of their other midline gloves. Uh, the only difference between these ones really is that um, they don't have like the removable inner liner, but they've also got over like 140 grams of Finsulate in them. So uh, they should be pretty warm, also water resistant. So uh, those are gonna keep our hands warm. Good quality stuff for a good deal. Big shout out to Royal Distributing. They've been supporting us for quite some time. I know some of you guys hate on the fact that I, I shout out supporters and stuff like that, but you gotta realize there's a lot of time and effort that goes into creating these videos. And it's companies like Royal Distributing, Super ATV, um, UTV Canada, um, all, all sorts of other companies that have supported us along the way, Fin Trail, FXR, um, McNasty Customs, all those companies have supported us in either a small way or a larger scale way. Um, Royal Distributing and Super ATV have been the title sponsors of the channel coming up around three to four seasons now, and they really do help make a lot of this stuff possible because they take some of the burden off me. Uh, the camera gear is expensive. The time it takes to create these videos is crazy. So uh, they help lighten the load a little bit and make some of this stuff possible. So big shout out to them for supporting the grassroots and helping keep our industry and our sport healthy. Um, I mean, it, companies that give back to the community and, and to the sport and that are founded by people that kind of love this stuff in the first place um, really help make the sport a lot better. Um, we really need to focus on supporting good, strong uh, businesses that have their roots in this industry. That's just my two cents. I'm done with that now. You just got to remember that for for support for like creators like us, um, the supporters uh, they really do help make the channel better and make the content better. So um, yeah, if you do have a second, show show these people some support. Make sure you're dealing with good, reputable companies. You know, it's your hard-earned money. Make sure you leave it in a good place and get a good product for it. Got a little bit of blowing snow conditions here in Canada, eh? Makes for some good driving weather on the trails. It's pretty chilly out there. Not a bad day though. So uh, we're just on our way to the trails now. Oh yeah, we made it. We got the Razor Turbo. We got the KRX. And oh my God, what is that in the background? That's a YXZ. You guys know what happens to YXZs when they come out riding with us. They end up getting ho towed home by a Polaris. <laughs> <laughs> or a well, that might yeah. be a Cowie. We'll see. We'll switch it up. No, we'll see, we'll see. You're gonna have to send her hard. There you go. Yeah. You ready for some more fun in this thing? You're like yeah, the buddy. new fan favorite, eh? I know. Yeah, everyone's There's all team kinds green. of comments. Team Green. You got a lot of weight riding on your shoulders. I know. You got to impress. You don't want to let all the Cowie guys down. <laughs> there must be at least 10 of them out there. There's got to be nine for sure. I got nine pending friends on uh, Facebook. Okay, sweet, sweet. He's got the cowie jacket out again, so you know he's ready for business. I need Send me a Polaris it. jacket. You do, buddy. Look at these. We got the studs, and I'm cheating. I got ice Cheater. studs. Can't wait to try these high grip studs. I think they're gonna work awesome. Freaking cold out. Oh, we got the trail limo. The Razor 4, the Turbo 4. We're still waiting on fish in the Can Am Commander. You got that four door turbo? Got that YXZ. Can't wait to see this thing. He's gonna have to send it like the blowing budget off road boys. They've set the bar pretty high for what a YXZ can do. So we'll see. Oh, dude, those guys make Yamahas do things Yamahas shouldn't be able to do. Like, they're rock crawling in them and, like, 
I feel sorry for that machine. They don't sound happy about it, but they do. They're it. tough <laughs> machines, though, man. They're yeah. tough. It's gonna be interesting how this thing does on the big horn. She'll be revving. It's gonna be see, cool to see how the cowie does in the snow. Who's there? Oh, we got fish here. Fishy's here. He brought the fish bowl. The commander is here. Oh, and he's running his swamp lights. He took the cryptids off. They weren't hooking up good last ride. So he's running his uh, Interco swamp lights now. Oh yeah. Got the swamp lights on there. Say hello to the interweb. Hello. The send is here. The send is here. Swamp lights on, snow tires ready to go. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. We might have to slap some studs in these. I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows the internet wants to see a Kawasaki KRX do cyclones. This might be some of the first cyclone footage we got here. I don't think he's going to beat the side-by-side -side vlog what? record, but we're going to lay a baseline. Hey, this is for the Kawasaki world record of cyclone speed. Yeah! Side-by-side -side vlog doesn't have a KRX yet, do they? They rode, they test drove one, but they don't have one. Well, you might hold this record for a solid few weeks. All right, let's do it. <laughs> We're gonna set the uh, KRX world record for Cyclone. Pop her in the four and let her rip. Yep. You done any Cyclones in this thing yet? Not really because Ooh. I haven't found any good uh, good uh, slippery ground. I wonder if that thing will spin them good still with the studs. I think there's one way to find out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only one way to find out. And then we got the Yamaha here who's gonna do some Cyclones too. So this should be good. They're gonna do some cyclones. Give her help. Oh, she don't like it.
it does well. You did pretty good once you got her going there. I had to lock up the diff. That is oh. the difference. Get it? <laughs> ah. <laughs> that Yami's got some speed though. It does. I'd let that thing run. Sorry? I'd let it run. <laughs> You're not coming? Well, you did some cyclones. Yeah. Do you know how to get to the trail? Yeah, okay. The Yamaha did well. It got some good speed going. This is a 2020 YXZ. It's pretty much brand new. I know they reduced the gearing in first and second gear for these uh, newer models. I don't know how much. I don't know really the specs about these. We don't see many of them here. It's going to be interesting to see how it does. She was screaming, that's for sure. No winch on this thing. No winch on the four-seater. We'll see. This is going to be an interesting day, guys. Here we are at the start of the trail, so let's get things going. Thanks for checking out the video, and I hope you enjoy the ride. Hang on. Make a difference. Dude, she hooks up with the suds. She hooks up with the suds. You need some studs. <laughs> I think so. When you guys are all done, I'm gonna go down again. It's slick. the Yama Hammer or uh, the it's the Kawasaurus is next and then the Yama Hammer I don't know the Cowie might the Cowie might do it Hockey's made of, eh? It's got better tires, better weight. Yeah, better wheelbase. Let's see what you got! Team Green! Those big horns aren't gonna hook either, probably. I really want him to make it. You can do it! Yeah! We'll see. Oh, he's getting a run for her. Yamaha YXZ. It's been a while since we've had a Yamaha out here. Let's see what this beast can do. Brand new. It's got brand new big horns on it, so they usually do pretty good in this type of snow. So we'll see how she hooks up. Yeah, 
baby. Thank God there was no grip there. Is he giving her? He almost had it. You did well, man. Thank you. Hey, Frank, back up a little more. Further back. That little bit of run is the momentum you need. Yeah. Get past this middle. I'm gonna try it. One, I'm gonna go back and try it with the with the studs after this is done. Oh yeah. I want to see how they hook up. He's sending her. He's just gotta clutch drop that shifter in a second and go. Yeah. I think you get a little more, Frank. Get ready to jump out of the way. He might yeah. jump us. <laughs> He's just showing off. Yeah. <laughs> one one. Yeah. One one. But it's me and you now. <laughs> yeah. It's so glazed already, though. It's still glazed from last weekend, probably yeah. over here. It's, he's going really again. Really he's going again. He's got to hit it in second, but it's gonna pull him in there. Yeah. Second gear. <laughs> Fifth gear wide open. <laughs> Fifth gear tap. You're okay, you're okay. You're okay. Go detour. Go a different way. Too early to roll it. That was a valiant set. She's slick, eh? Nice try, man. That was good. I'm gonna. I, I think I'm gonna do it again. You? I'm gonna try and see if the ice spikes make a difference. That was awesome. Should I hit it again and see if the studs work? Yeah. Should I try the suds out? Let's see what the suds do. I think they'll hook oh, yeah. to this. Those with studs would be awesome, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, those are really good to stud. There's like you can run a good pattern on there. Should I give her? I mean this is the test. Oh, this yeah. is the stud test. I, if I they work. Do that. What's that? I'd yeah. definitely give the old stud test up there. Let's do the stud test. Let's do her. There's I enough of us to new. roll it over. If we need to. Yeah. I got nothing to lose if you try. I'm gonna hit it again. <laughs> you know That's it. your best saying, man. That's gotta be like your saying. I heard it in the first video. I'm like, yeah, I was blasting. I got nothing to lose. Try it, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyone want to go down and film her? Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. Now that a few vehicles have attempted the climb and some of them failed, the top of the hill is really, really glazed over. It's very slick and icy. It's worse than it was when I first attempted it. And this will be a really good real world test on how these tungsten carbide eye grip studs function. These are the conditions you'd get these for if you're trail riding. You want to add grip in situations where there is none, like on this icy hill. So let's see how these function and let's see if they work as advertised and whether or not they're worth the investment. <laughs> the grip going down was crazy. Yeah. Go we'll climb right up, I bet ya. Let's see if these studs work. You guys saw how much the other machine struggled. I'm gonna rip my gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, man? Yep. Got all 
all excited wanting to try the climb again, and I forgot to close my tailgate. I guess that was a good test to see how rugged the Razorback off-road swing-away tire carrier is. Oh yeah, just shredding it. Like grooves, eh? Fish, you getting some studs? I'm getting some studs, bud. I'm getting look some at the studs. look at the scratches, eh? I laid into the throttle and they just spun. Like they yeah. just looked up. Even going down they felt pretty decent. I used they to, to run studs in my four-wheeler. It was just a game changer. Unreal, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. That's slick. It's not too slick. It's fun, though. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, wow. What a game changer. Yeah. We all need some of those. Yeah. Did we keep going? I didn't realize I didn't close my back tailgate. <laughs> yeah, it's popping. Thanks, man. Yeah. Not too slick with studs, actually. No, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, wow! What a game changer. Yep. We all need some of those. Yeah. cut that tree down or do you want to keep it it's actually probably a good thing to cut it, down, you mean, or? it might actually be good there because it yeah. stops the machine right i was about to say just winch out and then i realized we don't got a winch <laughs> well i need to go this way oh oh damn We're in a bit of a predicament. Why don't we all push and you give it some gas? Yeah, Sorry. we might be able to like, put it in two wheel drive and maybe spin it that way. Where can you push? Watch the exhaust. Oh, you got three right here. For this, I, I would just get my front wheels up and then pop it with the back. <laughs> the front front's gonna start coming up anyway, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay, arms in, boys. Ready? There you go. Nice. Are you good? Arms you in. need my hand? <laughs> Someone's been through here since last weekend and cut down a bunch of these trees. Oh, yeah. It's gonna make easy work of this, I can tell. a bit. You got a log behind yeah, you. I know. I'm getting deja vu from last weekend. Yeah. It screwed you up there when you came in because uh, your bumper hit before you tired it. Yeah, my ground clearance. Yeah. I lost an inch and a half ground clearance. My other tires stick up. You think you can pop it. it now that that log's back? Yeah, I can back up. Yeah, give it a give it one more pop. Yeah. Now, yeah. we're gonna have to we're gonna have to release the cable. Look at this. We're actually using a tree saver, people. 
You don't need to call Greenpeace this episode. Easy. Are you a tree hugger? I'm a tree hugger through and Look through. At Look that at that guy. Us. Saving, no saving, the, the saving the tree with a wind, with a tree I'm saver. I'm that guy. You know, if you read the comments of our videos, people are always like, have you ever heard of a tree saver? You're killing the world. <laughs> it's not the jumbo jets, man. No, it's us. right? Right? All that rocket fuel they yeah, use. Yeah, it's not them. It's us. the trail goes. inch there every other person it gets harder and harder Studs are working awesome. What a game changer. Both going up the climbs and control going down them. I think a bunch of the guys are gonna get these now. I made easy work of a few of these climbs. Just knowing these bad boys are in there. Rebar. Oh, oh that's why you didn't make it up, eh? That, that's why. Yeah, that's why. Well, you know, I thought more trash and flatter it was. Yeah. You just can't go flat. <laughs> No, not totally. Did no. You had the when I yeah, it goes with the same squat, uh, tires off the. Uh, the Yamaha's doing pretty decent. I'm impressed. Yeah, that's what I, think it's like. I think the key with Yamaha's, like most vehicles, though, is definitely the driver needing to know how to work it. So we're just working our way down the trail until we get to the good spots. We're just coming up on our first creek crossing here. It's not bad. Yeah. Or it 
wasn't. <laughs> you just don't want to get wet. Yeah, I, I'm not out to get wet either. Yeah. So you're not even in fin trail today? Uh, no, I just wear my yeah. tops of fin trail, but I'm not wearing my waders or anything. You're not spinning in the front. I got four wheel lit and I'm in four wheel drive. The front's not spinning. That's not good. Try again. Yeah, you're good. Yep. Maybe just not enough throttle. That was weird. straight back and turn around a little bit better. Front's not spinning. That's not good. I wonder what it is. I don't know. Have you clicked that four-wheel drive on and off? Give it more gas. My belt's slipping. You're wet. Let me pull you out. Belt's wet. Wet belt. The free schools are always long. Either there's either dirt in them or in this case probably frozen, right? Yeah. What they need is a high speed, a high spool, right? Or is it? No, that's what they, they need to have a two yeah. speed. I guess your belt case is leaking. That or the water got up into the clutch intake, which is pretty low, I right? It. I mean, fine. Yeah. Uh, I just had the belt cover off. I thought I cleaned everything thoroughly. <laughs> Yo, fish! Don't fall in. Don't you dare. End up wet, man. This is gonna be a mean joint. Yeah, grab the strap for fish. Like? You got a tow point up front there, right? Isn't there that little loop at the very bottom where that? Here, I got this. I got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't really hear us here, but what we're talking about is how we're mind blown that the Polaris Razor or the Can-Ams or any of these side-by-sides don't have four really good tow points on each corner of these machines. These are specifically built off-road machines that are just gonna get stuck or will have to pull out other machines. How can there not be standard tow points on all of these? It blows my mind that these companies can engineer these awesome machines, but they can't do something as simple as adding some good tow points.
got some water in the case, eh? Is she draining it all? Nothing. Yeah. Bad belt. It's a brand new belt. Did you run it at all? Did that? Yeah, the last ride was a brand new ride. There's water in there. But... That's enough sometimes. Yeah. You know, you just tell, you get that belt a little wet. this way This side, yeah. you guys are hitting it way too much of an angle. Yeah. You're good, you're good, you're good. And hit it wide. XMR dug last time. That's the big two holes from his rear wheels. So you gotta go around them. Can you pull up? Yeah. Pull up! Pull up! Oh yeah, like you get 100 times more adrenaline out of with that thing. I am, I am quite impressed for what I thought I think we're going to do. We've seen a few YXZs out here in the past and yeah. they've just miserably failed at everything. Oh, really? But I think it's a lot of driver too, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we had one guy come out back in 2016 with a brand new YXZ, blew the clutch out of it in a few minutes. Yeah, that's just slipping it. Riding with like the 16, 17 models. Impossible. Like yeah. Right? Yeah, that gear reduction you can tell in here. Yeah. There's the Kawasaurus. I really like this thing. It's I a sweet too. machine. It, it, it works very impressive. It's almost a good all around machine. It really is, yeah. Showing off. Show off! <laughs> Woo! Don't drop the camera! Yep, you'll dry. You'll be okay. Yeah, go get her! He's gonna come get you. Here. Oh my God. Hey! 
I want you to keep your hands where I can see them at all times. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> that you made easy work of that. I know, right? I get deep there. Does it? <laughs> she can probably go if you go back yeah. there, like last time. Do you want to go across or do you want to go with him? You have to go back there. Are <laughs> you filling up? Yeah, my feet are filling up. Whoa. and she'll get in the bed. Oh yeah, that can work. And then you just gotta get her over here and she can hop out. The bed! <laughs> she wants a picture with a cowie. <laughs> Look how hard she's smiling. <laughs> I've never made her smile like that. <laughs> Are you giving out free cabby rides? Yeah, buddy. Am I pretty enough? No. Oh. I'll save anyone, girl. I guess he's more your type. <laughs> oh, that's vicious. Thanks, man. Oh, I got, Thank you. I got, a full got your strap on there for you? My strap on. Oh, damn it. I should have put this over there. <laughs> She's like, I should have just walked over there. Yeah. I think that's the awesome shot. Yeah, I know. You can walk around that way and get yeah. a shot. Here. Which way? Walk around that way over there and get a shot from that angle. You'll get this whole thing. Stand where you okay. stood last time. Either way, it's likely you're getting stuck on the way out. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, nobody's making it up the bank on the other side. At least nobody did last time. I would wait until a couple of other machines get across. Okay. More rescue options. Yeah. And that branch wasn't there last time. That's fine, I'll move it. Yeah. Yeah. This is nothing. 
Oke. Doors flying. <laughs> oh, she's nice and slick at the top. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, he glazed her good there. <laughs> hey, Frank, we could get more more uh, momentum before that down here, though. I didn't even spin at that point, so I had enough speed. It just rolled, right? Yeah. That's what you need. Yeah, you need the speed. Get as much speed as here as you can, and then it'll. I'm thinking first, real question, or second there. Huh? Yeah. See, that's the. That's the big. Yeah, right the gear. Yeah. I, I don't have to worry about the gears. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Low and high. If second, if you get to like three quarter and second box and you smash first gear and it'll grab and you yeah. just start ripping too. Like, is it shift super fast? Oh, yeah. 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 Another quarter came out of yours. Huh? Yeah. And not just flash the belt. You can hear it probably. Yeah. I noticed it right away. The front tires did the same thing. The hill's funner. Yeah, fish kind of pointed it out. I'm like, I did that. Hey, that was Saki man. You want me to try that? Yeah. Well, your gear on gear, right? gonna show me how it's done now. I failed miserably.
one or not driven one properly. That's right, buddy. Yeah. She ain't no dune queen. Nope. Purpose built. Nice. I guess you're going that route? Yeah, I'm gonna have to. All right. You wanna go first or you want me to go? Uh, I'm ready in my machine. Give Let's her hell. Give her hell. Trench it out so I get even stuck more. <laughs> Right here. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'll move forward a bit. What about over there? Can I get across that spot? Yeah. Yeah. That's the way we went last time. We went that way last time. it's deep enough to fill the belt up again i'm gonna put the cap back in I'm gonna rev it a bit more and we'll get over there
in here. It's dying. Must have distemper. Is it a cracked case or something? Maybe. When I get home, I'll take it off. It's a seal. I'm going to order an upgraded seal. I'll order you one. Stop. You're just going to kill it. Exactly. I'm just going to give you a yank with the rope. That's fine. Oh, do we have somewhere to tie it? I'll figure something out. Now that okay. I'm up to, out of the water, there's gotta be something. I thought there used to be like a, a, maybe I'm thinking my 900 XP days. Yeah, there's nothing there. How stupid is that? Okay, we can use the winch. I gotta pull him out. John, John must have. Uh, so it's kind of sad that raccoon's kind of sitting there dying. It's probably got distemper. We really can't do much about it. Nature will take its toll. So John's getting water in the belt case. He must have a crack case or a bad seal or something. I think my seal's bad too. So I think I'm going to order one of those OMC silicone seals. I've heard good things about them. Um, so I'll just order him one at the same time. I'm going to go yank him out with the winch.
a piece of crap. Didn't even make it out. I know, it's terrible. <laughs> There's something there. I think you're just hitting your uh, you're hitting your uh, trailing arm on a rock or on the gr on the ground. There's a little stump there. Look at it. See it? Well, I felt that. Yeah, go that way a bit more. Z hit it and you smacked it a little bit too. Yeah, and it sent me full side right into that. And then we got this guy that hung up the, the KRX. I didn't even notice that stuff. Good times, eh, buddy? Good times. Good times. Good times. All those commander boys. Yeah. Okay? Are you like the, you're the representative for Team Commander here. Yeah, the Can Am Commander we guy here. We got a here. KRX representative. We need a talent. We got yeah. a YXZ. We need the talent guy here. We got Can Ams. We got a Maverick Sport. We need an X3 and we need a Talon. We do. Yeah, yeah. Hear that people? If you're local to like the Hamilton slash greater Toronto slash greater London area and you got a set. Come on out. Drop a comment. We'll see what we can do. Come on out. Yeah. We're taking auditions. Yeah. Team tryouts. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have to sign a waiver. Yeah. yeah. Wa wa waivers, waiver yeah. Waivers, waivers, yeah. Waivers, yeah. I think so. You rem we good? Yep. I'll be like a retarded. deep eh it's deep there you know what john you know what uh, here it's deep um the truth is you've got the wheelbase to make that easy yeah see like the problem everyone else had was like the, the turbos made it down and the krx made it down no problem tyler and greg and colin all did it um and the krx did it the only issue is the 900S because he's a little shorter. shorter. The only thing I'm thinking is that if my belt gets wet, you're stuck there. I'm fucked. I need to well, tow. That's quite a bit deeper than it was last time. I thought I was going to get wet there. That's why you heard me hit the throttle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that pushes the water out of the belt, right? Yeah. Keeps it from coming in the, the exhaust. Where is it? You have to hug the bank there. Um, it might be easier for you to pop out and come through because the getting out of here is easy. Like you saw, that was easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll try the same line as you then. That's just how are we going to winch you out of there? John, honestly, I would go this way if I were you. Yeah, everyone's saying the same thing, that he's got the length. Something's wrong. Yeah, man. Like you're flooding the case instantly. Yeah. 
He doesn't have a winch yet. The, the winch plate's on back order. We're dickered here. We're in a bad position. Game plan? Up there on that side. I don't know what we got for straps and ropes. If you can try to at least pull me there and then pull me there. I don't know what. All right, well, why don't we, uh, yo, why don't we, why don't we pull you here? We'll let someone else go around and we'll, we can, um, we can do like a tug train to get you out or something. Cause it'll be easier, right? Cause that's a long, that's a long pull for the winch, right? So. Hey, it is what it is. We'll get her out of there. Hey, I'm going to pull up here. Yeah. And we'll try and get you that way. We'll be moving slow enough that you'll know if it's dropping off. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Is there any way we can hook a cable, like something up to the front that's not a winch, so I can pull you? I don't want to pull you hard in reverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can hook a cable somewhere there. I think I can get a cable through those loops. Yeah, you can go behind them. Yeah, yeah I'll get a cable. Once again, we find ourselves in a weird situation. Last time it was a Can Am XMR. This time it's the Razor 4. This trail must be haunted. I can't wait to see what's next. In hindsight, we probably should have pulled the belt case and inspected whether it was on right because it only takes a few minutes and maybe we could have solved this problem. Yeah, I got one here. I'm going to try to loop through. I got like another 20 feet here. Hey guys, hope you're enjoying the video so far. It's, uh, it's always an eventful ride. You never know what you're going to run into. That machine has been bulletproof since the day he got it. And today, something's off. That case is filling up with water. He's slipping belt. Um, so here we are in a predicament. As soon as he hits the water, he's slipping belt and he can't move. So we're gonna try and drag him out here. Um, you gotta take the good with the bad off-roading. You never know what you're gonna get. You never know if you're gonna get stuck or break down or roll over, any of that stuff. So we always take it as a team. There's a bunch of us here. There's a crappy situation. We put our heads together, we make it work. We make the best of it. And we still have a fun time doing it. It could be me next time. Could be the KRX next time. It, it, you know what I mean? You never know whose turn it is. It could be his turn again next time. But the, the point is that we just work together and we get our way out of here. We have a good time doing it. I'm sure if you guys ride, you've, you've all run into this situation. So uh, I guess we'll just take advantage, uh, put the winch to work, get the straps hooked up, and we'll get him out of there and move on. And then hopefully we can find a way out of here where he doesn't have to go through too much more deep water. Also, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and on TikTok. Even though 90% of our TikTok videos get deleted for some reason, because they're showing dangerous activities. I don't know what that means, but if you do, let me know. And uh, you want some cool swag, then help support the channel by checking out the Shopify store, link below. Yeah. Oh, no, you can't get excited. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Do you need the rest? What's up? You need those? Yeah. Oh, sure. It's all good. I mean, at this point, I think I'm going to need a winch to get across, right? Yeah. So we might as well have it all connected. I'll get the winch. One more strap coming. Nice. That'll be perfect. I'll get it out. Yeah. Once we get through here, I don't want to go through the culvert. I
Often riding in the cold presents various challenges you don't really have to deal with in the warmer months, like everything the water touches basically freezes up, getting wet can end your day, and all sorts of stuff like that. Dealing with ice, not knowing how thick it is, um, dealing with frozen ground and no grip. It's always a good time in the winter. The trails change so quick when everything freezes up. A trail that's easy in the summer quickly becomes almost unpassable when things freeze. And vice versa, of course, because sometimes certain trails are only passable in the winter when things freeze up and they're just not doable in the summertime when there's mud or water. Regardless of what time of year it is, it's always a good time out with friends on the trails. Fish, you're holding up the show. Jump in the jump in the creek and swim on over here. Get in the fishbowl. Is that what it's called? Oh, the the fishbowl? Fish the fish tank. My bad. You're gonna send it this way? Yeah, he better not go that way. <laughs> yeah, I'm done winching people. That was my last pull. Yeah. Someone else's turn. Winching when they're laying on the roof is not fun. No. Laying on your roof in the cold ain't fun. I guess it's not as deep here as we thought. No. Which is good. Yeah. Got a little deep right there. He was kind of buried right there. Yeah, that right there is like that deepest spot it dips yeah, in. You, yeah. Side there. Yeah, you see a wall and they're like, nope. Nope. No. No. <laughs> nah. There's no wall. You ain't calling the shots no more. <laughs> it's like a roller coaster. You're on for the ride. Steer it. That's it. It's the real men go that way. The silt found you. You need a tug? Yeah, I want a tugger. You want a tugger? That got really deep. Whose is this? Anyone? <laughs> I don't know. Wow. Did you take it off mine? Yeah. We gotta tug him out. Oh, fuck. All right. His butt's a little wet. This part of the trail is haunted, man. We can't get past this spot. People online have been telling me we gotta get some of those kinetic recovery straps. Yeah. Like right. those snap straps that you just the like. Tiger tails. Yeah. Are, yeah. Or the stretchy ones, like you pull it and it like breaks the suction or something. Yeah. Because this gets annoying. We're doing some surgery. Did you get it? Nice. Oh, except I gotta get cold. Was the water too cold? No, water. Oh, the boot, the booty. You got, you need some of that fin trail. I know. We'll have to, we'll have to help fish out. So I guess John was saying that the, the case must be pinched on the bottom somewhere when he changed the belt. And there's probably a little bit of a crack because it's filling up really quick and then draining right away. Because when you pull the drain plug out, there's nothing left in there. So he's got to pull that case off and see if he can kind of salvage it or if it needs to be replaced or fixed or something like that. Look at those tender springs. More like a tender washer. It's a spacer. It's a spacer, yeah, it's not even a spring. What a joke. 
I'm gonna order me some tender springs. This way or that way? That way he's gonna go. Bitter school. And then he would realize it's the way. Teach him a lesson. That's the way my dad does it. Again. You're pro now. <laughs> We're gonna have trouble keeping up soon. No Look at this, even the stickers don't stay on. Yeah, it goes so fast. The power just tore it right off. <laughs> Wicked. Good. Well, let's regroup and get moving. Yes, sir. Getting that done today. This thing did wicked, man. You handled it like a champ. You're blowing us away, yeah. At least you don't have to worry about your belt getting wet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they got the rad back here now. Yeah. That's cool. This thing's doing great out here. The Yamaha smoke in the show, eh? Yeah, yeah, it's well, doing I, good. Awesome. I'm blown away. I, I'm blown away too. The two machines, like the KRX and the Yamaha, are winning today. They they're, they're schooling us all. They are. I'm going back to the crypt. You're going back to Team yeah, Howie? Yeah, I'm going back to the crypt. Your blood tires. was always green, man. You can't change that. I started on a Cowie too. Yeah, well. I'm I don't great. know if I'm ready to go back yet. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how you do. Yeah, you remember this one, right? What? Putting your seatbelt on? You don't need it. No? I don't think so. Did we get through? We didn't get out of this one last time, did we? We had to pull people. Yeah, we did. Everyone actually. Everyone had to pull out? Yeah. Well, I'm just going to go in. We'll just go on that side. Don't get out.
while here. Good job. No, no water on the on this uh, lens. Oh, my sandwich fell on the ground. Let someone else go. Can you pull on the rope? Don't walk into the camera. <laughs> I left it hooked up, so give her one more go. If you can't do it, we'll winch. Yeah. Maybe that one. A bit more. Did I get you? Oh yeah, it has, it has, it has a little smell to it. <laughs> Yo, line up here, we'll pull you. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh you're in the rut. You want to go that way a bit. Good. 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 This is brutal. Yeah. Only a cowie could make it up this. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe that YXZ, just do a wheelie, man. Yeah, wheelie out of it. A little more. In. That's why I had the RPM up a lot more.
getting worse now. the utility machine to work now. We're going to utilize its pulling capacity here. Hey dude, I think you're the MVP of today. Oh. Is that a bad spot? Oh, my bad. All good. I'm sorry man, I let you down. You're not happy the last time too. Yes, master. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's your turn to pull a little bit. You got the utility machine. Right. Making the sport machine pull everything around. again a little more jam oh you let off you let off of you and it's not green. A little bit extra. I just couldn't get it. You made me bleed. Uh, and it's the wrong color. Is it green? No. 
He's gonna get pinned right away. Give her! Okay, stop. I thought I had enough there to get her. You, you did all right. You know the drill. Cowie, I'm Cowie's cow doing it? Turn. You know what? Sharing, sharing. Right? Yeah, man. Is that a mule? It might, it might, it might be. Is we'll this see. a Kawasaki mule? <laughs> the Kawasaki everything. Uh, I don't mean to wrap around those two bars in the back. Or should I turn around? You got a shackle? He's got one. Okay. Don't worry, John. We'll use we'll use the commander. Yo. I got it now. Oh, yo, he's got it. You're yeah. doing it. Pull up, pull up. I haven't hooked anything to the back. Right, I go up here, maybe. Anywhere through that frame rail is good. Yeah, they go through both of them. train here, eh? We gotta pull the bus out of the creek. Yeah. The party bus. It's gonna be awesome. The trail limo. The limo of the woods. How do they come to the right first? Uh, that thing's frozen last time I tried it. It might be working now. Is it coming? Oh, sweet. Oh, wow. They're gonna double pull them. The Yamaha's gonna hook up. Not a chain. Glad there's no hook on that. Yeah. That's what I was worried about when I was pulling you earlier. <laughs> hey, we uh flip turn around maybe and winch him out. Okay. Because he's pretty pinned up there. We'll have to go slow and steady. Yeah. I've got that snatch block if we want to go off the tree. You Let's do I mean? a snatch block off the tree. Yeah, 100 percent This is like perfect opportunity for that. Well, if you're back there and we get the snatch block on that tree right there. You still liking this thing or what? Uh, it's okay. It'd be way better if I had 35s, man. <laughs> Hashtag don't need 35s. <laughs> Let's get this man some 35s. <laughs> yeah. It'd be cool to see what it would do on him. Yeah, for sure. I don't yeah, think the axles gonna... would like it or the diff. No, no. Every ride we go on, you get more comfortable and this thing becomes more impressive. It does, Because yeah. now you're probably getting a feel for how it works, right? Yeah, my first bunch of times. I've never had a side-by-side -side before, so. What was your last machine? 
Kawasaki V-Force. Oh yeah. I love that machine. I have I, I have a Prairie at home, a 650. Yeah. yeah, I had one of those too. They're good machines. Oh, it's awesome. And that V-Force is like the Prairie, but two wheel drive. Yep, I know the one, yep. And it have more power. And My buddy had one. They haul ass, they're wheelie monsters. Oh, it is, yeah. I had the K&N, jetted, full yep. dual Yoshi exhost. It was nice. This type of riding we've been doing here this weekend and the last ride, I mean, this is what this machine is really designed to do. And you can you can see that, like, it, it doesn't seem to lack an ounce of power out here. No. It's got plenty of jam. Yep. Yeah. We're not setting land speed records here. Yeah, I love that machine. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I had one of those. No. Thank you. Let's see if we can get the bus out of here. We got, we got two machines. Maybe you should back up a little. Just like well, three, three feet, four feet to that tree, kind of. That, that's good. Now pull in. This way, we still got quite a bit of winch to work with. You turn in your wheels this way on purpose. Yeah. Well, okay. I, okay. I was trying to go over there, but I think it's too straight up and down. Okay. So I think I want to try to get right in the rut. Like. We got the commander. We got the KRX. We got the trail limo. Dead in the water, literally. You pull! Whoa, 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 whoa! This is bad. Straighten your wheel. Yeah. Because you're gonna you're gonna put too much stress on it. Let off a bit. Let off a bit. There you go. Okay. Um, I was hoping I can get past that. Slowly both go in. Watch that. Keep going. It's going, it's going, it's going. Try to keep that wheel as straight as you can, John. Hold your brakes, guys. Stop, 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 stop. You gotta. We gotta put something under the tires or something, or we gotta hook a machine up to one of you. Let's, do we have any more strap? Let's try to get that mountain. We could tie you to the tree. Where's that axe? Yeah. I got it, I got, yeah. Well, what, what are you gonna cut that? Okay. You wanna cut that? Well, I'm sure we can smack this little, that off. Is that a tree or ice? Ice. What if you back up and you only let the cow hit it exactly. Yeah, I'll get it. It's not an axe, but it'll do. Don't move, I'm gonna ease your tire. Yeah. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's okay, we just took the edge off. Oh, he's tied up now. He's gonna run out of winch. driver than you. <laughs> That's danger even. You should work for the city then. <laughs> yeah. Dream about tow trucking. Yeah. What? Yeah. Um, hey. Oh, he's tied to the tree. Is this the Cowie winch? No, it's worn. How big? 45. Nice. She's going to get a workout. Yeah. Can you turn his headlights off at all? Okay, in. Headlights off. Yeah, there go in. Go. Good. Straighten the wheels out a bit. We 
Wheels that way. Yeah. What an extraction. You'll be fine. It's fine. That's fine. It's going good. It's going good. Did he choke up? Should we pause there and choke up again? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. We're hung up on something, I think. I don't know how much that back cable can take. Is it the back tire? No. You got any gas yet? No. I'm up and out though, so yeah, you're, we're you're up drying out now, now right? I think Both we should, yeah. Do we have enough strap left? We, we got, got him. I was thinking we snatch block to the tree now. Oh, around and out? Yeah. Yeah, let's snatch block to the tree. Everyone you always tell us to use a snatch block and we're finally using one. What now? Okay. I'm thinking we'll snatch block right here. And then it'll be a nice right here. Like a little hang slam. Why you can go right to the you don't have that plank. Yeah, that's or, a good one. Or if you're Last weekend's recoveries look easy, eh? It does. Yeah, we're getting really good does. at this. That's good there. Am I over now? That's that should work. Exactly. How's it look? Man, that thing scares me. Working. It's like we're doubling the pulling power or something. Nice. We used some science there. Oh, we made it happen, right? Hey? Well, well, we've been just messing around with the clutch cover shoe just came off. So. Oh, wow. Cow a sexy towing service at yeah. your service. Yeah. <laughs> Science for the win. Yeah. We should have invited Bill Nye. That was a nice snatch block recovery. That was really good. good we were tied really off good. to this tree here too. Good Thank you. Good job, man. It's all, it's all in the setup. I felt this thing is like stretching. <laughs> Even longer wheelbase yeah. now. <laughs> now I'm 100, 400 inches. Well, you made it, John. Uh, well, I'll say that on the road. I think you'll be good now. Yeah. Appreciate the help. You would have done the same for us. Without question. I think. Without hesitation. Yeah. Aren't you glad you yeah. brought that today? Yeah, that saved our ass. Yeah. Amazon, man, it was only like 30 bucks. Really? Yeah. Uh, go, go. It just paid for itself. Call me New Year. Yo! City worker. <laughs> Quit leaning on your shovel. So Quit leaning on your shovel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm a great, yeah. Like I think we got a fill. Yeah. We got a fill? Oh, for sure. Yo, John. Yeah, we're all gonna jet. I think we've all got our fill for today. Yeah. So we'll just follow you out then. Yeah. yeah.
Thanks for checking out another trail ride video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a comment below. I love hearing from all you guys, and I do my best to respond to all the comments. We had a lot of fun on today's ride, even though we ran into some hiccups, but hey, that's part of off-roading. Make sure you check out the future uploads because we got a lot of action coming your way. Whether you're a new viewer or a return viewer, it would be awesome if you could subscribe. And when you do, make sure you enable notifications. All that stuff really helps us get more noticed on YouTube, and it helps our videos rank higher up in the search, which helps new viewers find the videos and helps the channel grow.